Now, Interstate 64 remains partially shut down this midday after a cattle trailer overturned just before the morning commute. Now, it happened around 5.30 this morning in the westbound lanes near Frankfurt. The interstate is closed between exits 48 and 53, tying up traffic for hours. Several cows got loose after the crash, causing even more accidents. WKYT's Victor Puente is in Franklin County now with an update on the efforts to get that road back open. Victor? At this point, it's been almost seven hours since the driver of this cattle trailer lost control, sending his semi and more than 100 cows flipping into the median. It was around 5.30 this morning when the driver, going from Virginia to Kansas, went off the westbound lane of I-64. Police say despite the temperatures, weather didn't cause this crash. Uh, the driver fell asleep, ran off the roadway, and, and, and rolled on an embankment. The driver and his passenger were okay, but most of the 110 cattle were trapped in that trailer, minus the few who were roaming the interstate. And we had to shut down the interstate it, it, to keep people from hitting them. But three cows were still struck by vehicles. Melton says the drivers were trying to shortcut the mess. They hopped the median and went back the opposite direction, uh, which, you know, they were shut down for a reason. After loading the live cattle onto the other trailers, firefighters began removing the ones that didn't survive. They estimate at least 30 died in that crash. They all had to be removed before that trailer could be pulled upright and hauled away. It's a job that's taking its toll. Trying to keep the gas warm and dry and, and you know, chasing cattle. We've had a uh, cattle chase fireman upside of a hill. He charged one of the firefighters uh, out there trying to corral him. So we've had a busy morning. Melton tells me they've had several veterinarians here at the scene. He says they were even able to save one of those cows that was struck by a vehicle. In Franklin County, Victor Puente, WKYT. Victor, thank you. Westbound I-64 is open now, but it is down to one lane and traffic is still backed up for miles. If you go that way, you can expect a long delay.